Jose Ortega y Gasset, Spanish, the 9th of May 1883 to the 18th of October 1955, was a Spanish philosopher and essayist. He worked during the first half of the 20th century, while Spain oscillated between monarchy, republicanism, and dictatorship. His philosophy has been characterized as a philosophy of life that comprised a long hidden beginning in a pragmatist metaphysics inspired by William James, and with a general method from a realist phenomenology imitating Edmund Husserl, which served both his proto-existentialism and his realist historicism, which has been compared to both Wilhelm Dilthey and Benedetto Croce. Biography <inaudible> <inaudible> José Ortega y Gasset was born 9 May 1883 in Madrid. His father was director of the newspaper El Imparcial, which belonged to the family of his mother, Dolores Gasset. The family was definitively of Spain's end-of-the-century liberal and educated bourgeoisie. The liberal tradition and journalistic engagement of his family had a profound influence in Ortega y Gasset's activism in politics. Ortega was first schooled by the Jesuit priests of San Estanislao in Miraflores del Palo, Malaga 1891 He attended the University of Dusto, Bilbao 1897 and the Faculty of Philosophy and Letters at the Central University of Madrid now Complutense University of Madrid 1898 receiving a doctorate in philosophy. From 1905 to 1907, he continued his studies in Germany at Leipzig, Nuremberg, Cologne, Berlin and, above all Marburg. At Marburg, he was influenced by the neo-Kantianism of Hermann Cohen and Paul Natorp, among others. On his return to Spain in 1908, he was appointed Professor of Psychology, Logic and Ethics at the Escuela Superior del Magisterio de Madrid and in October 1910 he was named full Professor of Metaphysics at Complutense University of Madrid, a vacant seat previously held by Nicolas Salmeron. In 1917 he became a contributor to the newspaper El Sol, where he published, as a series of essays, his two principal works, España Invertebrada Invertebrate Spain and La Rebellión de las Masas The Revolt of the Masses. The latter made him internationally famous. He founded the Revista de Occidente in 1923, remaining its director until 1936. This publication promoted translation of and commentary upon the most important figures and tendencies in philosophy, including Oswald Spengler, Johann Hazinga, Edmund Husserl, Georg Simmel, Jakob von Ueckel, Heinz Heimsoeth, Franz Brentano, Hans Driesch, Ernst Müller, Alexander Fonder, and Bertrand Russell. Elected deputy for the province of Leon in the Constituent Assembly of the Second Spanish Republic, he was the leader of a parliamentary group of intellectuals known as Agrupación al Servicio de la República, the grouping at the service of the Republic, which supported the platform of socialist Republican candidates, but he soon abandoned politics, disappointed. Leaving Spain at the outbreak of the Civil War, he spent years of exile in Buenos Aires, Argentina until moving back to Europe in 1942. He settled in Portugal by mid-1945 and slowly began to make short visits to Spain. In 1948 he returned to Madrid, where he founded the Institute of Humanities, at which he lectured. Upon his return to Spain, he often privately expressed his hostility to the Franco regime, stating that the government did not deserve anyone's confidence and that his beliefs were "...incompatible with Franco". Philosophy. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Liberalism The Revolt of the Masses is Ortega's best-known work. In this book he defends the values of meritocratic liberalism reminiscent of John Stuart Mill against attacks from both communists and right-wing populists. Ortega likewise shares Mill's fears of the «tyranny of the majority» and the «collective mediocrity» of the masses which threaten individuality, free thought, and protections for minorities. Ortega characterized liberalism as a politics of magnanimity. Ortega's rejection of the Spanish Conservative Party under Antonio Canovas del Castillo and his successors was unequivocal, as was his distrust of the Spanish monarchy and Catholic Church. However, again in a manner similar to Mill, Ortega was open-minded toward certain socialists and non-Marxist forms of socialism, and even complimented Pablo Iglesias Posse as a 
lay saint. Under the influence of German social democrats such as Paul Natorp and Hermann Cohen, he adopted a communitarian ontology and could be critical of capitalism, particularly the laissez-faire variant, declaring that, 19th century capitalism has demoralized humanity, and that it had, impoverished the ethical consciousness of man. Yo soy yo y mi circunstancia For Ortega y Gasset, philosophy has a critical duty to lay siege to beliefs in order to promote new ideas and to explain reality. To accomplish such tasks, the philosopher must, as Husserl proposed, leave behind prejudices and previously existing beliefs, and investigate the essential reality of the universe. Ortega y Gasset proposes that philosophy must overcome the limitations of both idealism in which reality centers around the ego and ancient medieval realism in which reality is outside the subject to focus on the only truthful reality, my life, the life of each individual. He suggests that there is no me without things, and things are nothing without me. I, human being, cannot be detached from my circumstance, world. This led Ortega y Gasset to pronounce his famous maxim, Yo soy yo y mi circunstancia. I am I in my circumstance. Meditaciones del Quixote, 1914, which he always put at the core of his philosophy. For Ortega y Gasset, as for Husserl, the Cartesian cogito ergo sum is insufficient to explain reality. Therefore, the Spanish philosopher proposes a system wherein the basic or radical reality is my life, the first yo, which consists of I, the second yo, and my circumstance, mi circunstancia. This circumstancia is oppressive, therefore, there is a continual dialectical interaction between the person and his or her circumstances and, as a result, life is a drama that exists between necessity and freedom. In this sense Ortega y Gasset wrote that life is at the same time fate and freedom, and that freedom is being free inside of a given fate. Fate gives us an inexorable repertory of determinate possibilities, that is, it gives us different destinies. We accept fate and within it we choose one destiny. Quote, In this tied-down fate we must therefore be active, decide and create a project of life, thus not be like those who live a conventional life of customs and given structures who prefer an unconcerned and imperturbable life because they are afraid of the duty of choosing a project. Topic. Raciovitalismo With a philosophical system that centered around life, Ortega y Gasset also stepped out of Descartes' cogito ergo sum and asserted, I live therefore I think. This stood at the root of his Kantian-inspired perspectivism, which he developed by adding a non-relativistic character in which absolute truth does exist and would be obtained by the sum of all perspectives of all lives, since for each human being life takes a concrete form and life itself is a true radical reality from which any philosophical system must derive. In this sense, Ortega coined the terms, raison vital, vital reason, or reason with life as its foundation to refer to a new type of reason that constantly defends the life from which it has surged in raciovitalismo, a theory that based knowledge in the radical reality of life, one of whose essential components is reason itself. This system of thought, which he introduces in history as system, escaped from Nietzsche's vitalism in which life responded to impulses. For Ortega, reason is crucial to create and develop the above-mentioned project of life. Topic. Historical reason For Ortega y Gasset, vital reason is also historical reason, for individuals and societies are not detached from their past. In order to understand a reality we must understand, as Dilthey pointed out, its history. In Ortega's words, humans have no nature, but history. And reason should not focus on what is static, but what becomes dynamic. Topic. Influence Ortega y Gasset's influence was considerable, not only because many sympathized with his philosophical writings, but also because those writings did not require that the reader be well versed in technical philosophy. 
Among those strongly influenced by Ortega y Gasset were Luis Buñuel, Manuel García Marenti, Joaquín Zairao, Xavier Zabiri, Ignacio Elicuria, Emilio Comer, José Gaos, Luis Ricasayans, Manuel Granel, Francisco Ayala, María Zambrano, Agustín Besave, Máximo Echecopar, Pedro Lane Entralgo, José Luis López Arangaran, Julian Marías, John Lukacs, Pierre Bourdieu, Paulino Garigori, Olavo de Carvalho, Willem Flusser and Felix Marti Ibanez. The Ortega hypothesis, based on a quote in The Revolt of the Masses, states that average or mediocre scientists contribute substantially to the advancement of science. German grape breeder Hans Brader named the grape variety Ortega in his honor. The American philosopher Graham Harman has recognized Ortega y Gasset as a source of inspiration for his own object-oriented ontology. La Rebellion de las Masses, the Revolt of the Masses has been translated into English twice. The first, in 1932, is by a translator who wanted to remain anonymous, generally accepted to be J. R. Carey. The second translation was published by the University of Notre Dame Press in 1985, in association with W. W. Norton & Co. This translation was by Anthony Kerrigan translator, and Kenneth Moore editor, with an introduction by Saul Bellow. Mildred Adams is the translator into English of the main body of Ortega's work, including Invertebrate Spain, Man and Crisis, What is Philosophy, Some Lessons in Metaphysics, The Idea of Principle in Leibniz and the Evolution of Deductive Theory, and An Interpretation of Universal History. Topic influence on the generation of 27 Ortega y Gasset had considerable influence on writers of the generation of 27, a group of poets that arose in Spanish literature in the 1920s. Topic works Much of Ortega y Gasset's work consists of course lectures published years after the fact, often posthumously. This list attempts to list works in chronological order by when they were written, rather than when they were published. Meditaciones del Quixote Meditations on Quixote, 1914 Vieja y Nueva Política Old and New Politics, 1914 Investigaciones Psicológicas Psychological Investigations, course given 1915-16 and published in 1982 Personas, Obras, Cosas People, Works, Things, Articles and Essays written 1904-1912, Renan, Adán en el Paraiso Adam in Paradise, La Pedagogía Social como Programa Político Pedagogy as a political program, problemas culturals, cultural problems, etc. Published 1916. El Espectador, The Spectator, eight volumes published 1916 to 1934. España Invertebrada, Invertebrate Spain, 1921. El Tema de Nuestro Tiempo, The Theme of Our Time, 1923. Los Atlantidas, The Atlantises, 1924. La Deshumanización del Arte e Ideas sobre la Novela The Dehumanization of Art and Ideas about the Novel, 1925 Espíritu de la Letra The Spirit of the Letter 1927 Mirabeau o el Político Mirabeau or the Politician, 1928-1929 Que es Filosofía? What is Philosophy? 1928-1929, course published posthumously in 1957 Kant, 1929 to 31. K. S. Conocimiento? What is knowledge? Published in 1984, covering three courses taught in 1929, 1930, and 1931, entitled respectively "Vida como ejecución, el ser ejecutivo, Life as execution, the executive being, sobre la realidad radical, on radical reality, and K. S. La vida." What is life? La Rebellion de las Masas, The Revolt of the Masses, 1930. Rectificación de la República, La Redención de las Provincias y la Decencia Nacional, Rectification of the Republic, Redemption of the Provinces and National Decency, 1931. Gerda deste dentro, Gerda from within, 1932. Unis lección de metafísica, some lessons in metaphysics, course given 1932-33, published 1966. En torno a Galileo, about Galileo, course given 1933-34, portions were published in 1942 under the title Esquema de las Crisis, Outline of Crises. Mildred Adams's translation was published in 1958 as Man and Crisis. 
Prologo para Alemanas, prologue for Germans, prologue to the third German edition of El Tema de Nuestro Tiempo. Ortega himself prevented its publication, because of the events of Munich in 1934. It was finally published, in Spanish, in 1958. History as a System first published in English in 1935, the Spanish version, Historia como Sistema, 1941, adds an essay, El Imperio Romano, The Roman Empire, in Simismamiento y Alteración, Meditación de la Tecnica, Self-Absorption and Alteration, Meditation on the Technique, 1939, Ideas y Crinches Ideas and Beliefs, on Historical Reason, a course taught in 1940 Buenos Aires, published 1979 along with Sobre la Razón Histórica. Teoria de Andalusia y otros ensayos, Guillermo Dilthi y la idea de vida The Theory of Andalusia and Other Essays, Wilhelm Dilthi and the Idea of Life, 1942. Sobre la razón histórica on historical reason, course given in Lisbon, 1944, published 1979 along with ideas y crencias Prologo a un tratado de Monteria preface to a treatise on the hunt separately published as Meditations on the Hunt, created as preface to a book on the hunt by Count Ybes published 1944 Idea del teatro. Una abbreviatora the idea of theater. An abbreviated version, lecture given in Lisbon April 1946, and in Madrid, May 1946, published in 1958, La Revista Nacional de Educación Num. 62 contained the version given in Madrid. La idea de principio en Leibniz y la evolución de la teoría deductiva The idea of principle in Leibniz and the evolution of deductive theory, 1947, published 1958. Una interpretación de la historia universal. En torno a Toynbee An interpretation of universal history. On Toynbee, 1948, published in 1960. Meditación de Europa Meditation on Europe, lecture given in Berlin in 1949 with the Latin language title De Europa Meditatio Caitum. Published 1960 together with other previously unpublished works. El hombre y la gente Man and People, course given 1949-1950 at the Institute of the Humanities, published 1957, Willard Trask's translation as Man and People published 1957, Partisan Review published parts of this translation in 1952, Papel sobre Velázquez y Goya Papers on Velázquez and Goya, 1950, Pasado y porvenir para el hombre actual, past and future for present day man, published 1962, brings together a series of lectures given in Germany, Switzerland, and England in the period 1951 to 1954, published together with a commentary on Plato's Symposium. Goya, 1958. Velázquez, 1959. Origin y epílogo de la filosofía, Origin and Epilogue of Philosophy, 1960. La Casa y los Toros, Hunting and Bulls, 1960. Meditations on Hunting, 1972, translated into English by Howard B. Westcott. Topic. See also. List of liberal theorists. Topic. Notes. Topic. References Antonio Rodriguez Huezcare. José Ortega y Gasset's Metaphysical Innovation, A Critique and Overcoming of Idealism, Sunni Press, 1995. John T. Graham. A Pragmatist Philosophy of Life in Ortega y Gasset, University of Missouri Press, 1994. John T. Graham. Theory of History in Ortega y Gasset. The Dawn of Historical Reason. University of Missouri Press, 1997. John T. Graham. The Social Thought of Ortega y Gasset, A Systematic Synthesis in Postmodernism and Interdisciplinarity, University of Missouri Press, 2001. Howard N. Tuttle. Human Life is Radical Reality, an idea developed from the conceptions of Dilthey, Heidegger, and Ortega y Gasset, Peter Lang, 2004. Pedro Blas Gonzalez. Human Existence as Radical Reality, Ortega y Gasset's Philosophy of Subjectivity, Paragon House, 2005. Pedro Blas Gonzalez. 
Ortegas The Revolt of the Masses and the Triumph of the New Man, Algora Publishing, 2007. Jacques Azurmendi, Ortega y Gasset, in Espenur and Arimas, Donostia, Elkar, 2006. ISBN 84-9783-402-X Andrew Dobson. An Introduction to the Politics and Philosophy of José Ortega y Gasset, Oxford University Press, 2009. Fitzsimmons, David, Harper, Jim, 2008. Ortega y Gasset, José In Hamowy, Ronald. The Encyclopedia of Libertarianism. The Encyclopedia of Libertarianism. Thousand Oaks, CA, Sage, Cato Institute. pp. 365-66. doi.10.4135.9781400.0001. N223. ISBN 978-1-4129-6580-4. LCCN 2008009151. OCLC 750831024. External links A bibliography of works in English by and about José Ortega y Gasset. Fundación José Ortega y Gasset Spain in Spanish. Fundación José Ortega y Gasset Argentina in Spanish. Holmes, Oliver. José Ortega y Gasset. The Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Summer 2011 edition. Edward N. Zalta, ed. Newspaper clippings about José Ortega y Gasset in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics, ZBW.